For a long time in church, when I would go to church, I didn't know I had the power to worship God, or I didn't know the difference. And as I started growing in church, I started hearing people do praise and worship songs, and I thought that was, well, I didn't think it, I just knew it because I had never been taught it. I let their praise and worship songs take the place of me worshiping God. It's like you listening to a love song and you constantly let Marvin Gaye talk to your woman. That was a real bad example, y'all. That was, but some of y'all have been saved by three years. You got that real fast. At some point, you need to open your mouth and say something yourself. <laughs> I don't know why I'm the only one getting this tonight so far, but. So I would think that when we came to church and, and you know, we would sit down like really cool, like some of y'all even doing right now, and let the praise and worship team do what they do. And every once in a while, you just, so you just kind of listening because it is good singing. And it's right. And it's articulate. And, and so that would take your place of praise and worship. But, but did you ever take time to say something to God for yourself? So I had to learn that God wanted to hear from me, right? I had to learn that God didn't read my email. I had to learn that I couldn't text God, I had to talk to him. I learned that that's the reason God gave me a mouth. I also learned that until I started worshiping God, Satan would stay so heavy on me because I was never coming to God God's way to take things off of me. So sometimes we keep trying to find other ways to get better. And God says, I got one guaranteed formula. If you just worship me more, I will take things from you.